to the Leo Training Podcast with Joe DeLeo. You'll hear in-depth interviews and tips from world-class athletes, coaches, and industry-leading experts to help you train smarter and improve at what you love to do. Train smarter, get stronger, move better, race faster. Here's your host, Joe DeLeo. We're back with episode 62 of the Leo Training Podcast. And this week's guest is Dr. Fiona Wilson. Dr. Fiona Wilson is currently an assistant professor at the School of Medicine at Trinity College in Dublin, Ireland. She is a chartered physiotherapist with over 25 years of postgraduate experience. She was the former chief physiotherapist for Rowing Ireland from 1996 until 2005, and her research specializes in in low back pain in the sport of rowing, rheumatology, and sports medicine. Our discussion this evening will focus mainly around low back pain and injuries in the sport of rowing and what rowers, coaches, and athletes need to know about preventing, mitigating, and reducing those symptoms when training. So without further ado, let's roll to this brand new episode. Dr. Fiona Wilson, welcome to the Leo Training Podcast. Thank you so much for taking the time to come on to the show. I am very uh, excited to have you on. This one's been in the works for quite some time. It has. I'm very excited to be here. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, my pleasure. Um, it's been it's really uh, a treat to to have you on the show. We've uh, had several conversations offline, um, so I'm really excited to take some of those. Uh, those points we've talked about, those topics, and kind of expand upon them and share them with the rowing community. Uh, before we get to that, I would like you to take a couple minutes and introduce yourself. Uh, you have had tremendous amount of experience working with uh, rowers, um, the athletes, and also uh, in the rehabilitation field as well. So you have excellent experience and uh, quite the unique perspective on uh, what we're dealing with in terms of injuries and performance. Yeah, so um, I'm a physiotherapist, physical therapist, and I have been for nearly 30 years now. Um, Been involved in rowing all of that time, actually, as an athlete myself. And right back to um, the early years of my career, I I was involved in working with rowing injuries. But I also did a lot of work in hospital medicine, which was really useful that, you know, I, I learned a lot in terms of rehab from that even just working with basic orthopedics and, and general medicine. Um, and then in the mid-90s, I was um, rowing as an athlete in South Africa and also worked as a South African team physiotherapist. And then moved to Ireland in the, the, right in the middle of the 90s. I did my, my master's degree looking at back injuries in rowers and then started working as lead physiotherapist for the Irish rowing team, which I did for 10 years um I've been working in teaching and research in um since since 2000 at Trinity College Dublin specialized in musculoskeletal disorders did my PhD in rowing injuries in um in 2010 I think I finished that so I I'm still very interested in that doing lots of research in rowing and I still see patients regularly so so, so you are quite busy that would be an understatement. Busy, yeah, well, <laughs> rowing is fantastic. I, it's a joy that I can actually, that's my work. Obviously, I, I you know, I, I teach other areas in, with the undergraduate and postgraduate physiotherapy students, but um, it's great to do research in an area that I'm passionate about and that I was an athlete in and I, I've, I've traveled around the world with the Irish team. So, um, you know, it's great to give it a little bit back as well. I think what you're doing is really um, interesting and important because one of the things I see is a disconnect between people are doing research and people are actually working with the athletes and the athletes themselves and sometimes the research that's been done is not relevant or it doesn't really work in real life and I, you know I hope that I I was somebody who could make that connection um, and I, I think you're you know obviously with, with your podcast and the way you're translating evidence into practice so I think you know and I, I have a particular passion about that and I, particularly the last couple of years I, I've worked hard at that trying to 
bring in people I know are really fantastic clinical physiotherapists or rehab specialists working in rowing and getting their voice heard out there and also getting into the research that we're listening to what they think needs to be done and doing that. Yeah, and that's um, that's so, so important, you know, taking what we're learning in research and research and the evidence and moving it from um, you know, a controlled environment, if you will, and expanding it out from the, from the clinic into the athletes, um, yeah, making yeah. sure that, you know, it works and it holds true. Um, and you know, those kind of principles are really what I think is going to continue to drive the sport forward and then hopefully get us to a place where, you know, we're really, um, you know, trying to mitigate and reduce injury as much as, as much as possible. 